Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Parthenogenesis and the story of honey bee. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So honey bees share a very beautiful story. Let's see that. So each colony, or you can say hive of honey bee, contains three adult castes. First is queen, she is egg laying queen and drones, they are sperm producing male honeybees and workers who are female but they are non-reproductive because they are not able to produce gametes, they are sterile. Uh, within each colony a single queen always rules her workers and drones and these workers will forage for food they will build a strong hive uh, take care of larvae and defend their colony from enemies now a queen mates only once in her life during her nuptial flight which is a flight during that time the queen mates and she stores the sperm in a special organ that is called spermatheca so she has a special organ spermatheca which stores sperm. These stored sperms are used to lay eggs inside the hive for the rest of her life because she mates only once in her life. And queens mate in the air with as many drones as possible. So we can see number of drones are here who will mate with the queen. And the only job of the drone is to mate with the queen and soon after discharging their sperm, drones die. Worker honeybees are able to live for six weeks while queens can survive up to five years. Queens can decide whether to lay haploid that is unfertilized or diploid that is fertilized eggs. That is a peculiar characteristic of honeybee. In honeybees, sex is determined by their fertilization event. It is not determined by the sex chromosome. If the egg is not fertilized that means the egg is haploid what happens it hatches to generate a drone that is the male honeybee if the egg is fertilized by the stored sperm that means the egg is now diploid so it hatches to generate a female honeybee. A female honeybee can either be a worker or a queen depending on the diet it consumes. It is the duty of a worker bee to feed the newborn. Worker bees contain a special gland in head called hypo pharynx which secretes two kinds of food the royal jelly and worker jelly the royal jelly is rich in sugar and protein. 
so it is fed to the larvae supposed to become queen the worker jelly which is mainly composed of honey pollen and water that is not very much nutrition rich unlike the royal jelly it is fed to the larvae supposed to become worker or drone in order for a colony to survive the queen needs to lay sufficient number of fertilized eggs all will become workers because a colony a hive requires many workers because workers only do the work as a queen ages and about to die her sperm stores decrease in turn she produces fewer eggs at that time worker honey bees raise a new queen as the new queen becomes young adult she attends a nuptial flight and initiates a new cycle